Hello, my name is Corey Ertz, and currently I live in Quinton, Virginia. I've lived all over. I'm originally from South Dakota. I live here with my wife and one of our five children. All of our other children are off doing their own thing. They're all grown up. My youngest turns 18 this year. Um, I'm going to Liberty University to get my degree in history. And I know some of you right now just rolled your eyes because you don't like history. But if all you've ever studied was high school history, I understand that. I think the people that make the high school history books get rewards if they publish a book that is incredibly boring and has no context. So I'll forgive you for that. But I love history and history needs to be told in story format. I love history so much that when I moved to Georgia to marry my wife, we started a business together and it was called Ages and Eras. And it was an online business where we sold all kinds of handmade historical outfits. I could take a picture of something in a book, something somebody sent me from the internet, something from a museum, and I could reproduce that piece of clothing for the person. And we did very well. So well, in fact, we could take vacations for up to a month every year. And I got to do what I love. My wife did the business end of things, and I did that research and sewing, and I loved it. On one of our vacations back up in South Dakota, my wife found a lump under my arm. The lump turned out to be cancer. And to make a long story short, several years later, when no cure was found and after several doses of chemo, I was in bad shape. I had blisters all over my body. The skin was falling off my hands and I was in extreme pain all the time and I was pretty much bedridden. My wife was taking care of our kids uh, and also working. And one time when she was out of the house and the older kids were watching our younger ones and I was bedridden and kind of crying. I was in a lot of pain and I got the idea into my head that I still had one of my old guns in the cupboard on top of the refrigerator locked away and I made plans of how I could get that gun and end my pain and where I needed to do this at because that's not something you do in the house with the kids. And I was seriously thinking about this for the first and only time in my life. And about that time, my youngest, Jordan, came into the bedroom. He had heard me crying and he was upset. And he said, Daddy, what can I do for you to make it better? And that broke my heart. All thoughts of any nastiness I was going to do to myself went out of my head. And I realized whatever pain I was in at that moment was nothing compared to the pain I would leave these kids with. And I told Jordan, honey, go get me a glass of water. And he did. He was like seven at the time. He brought me that water. I drank it. I told him now everything's much better. And indeed it was. I was still in pain, but I had a completely different outlook on life. A couple months later, the doctors discovered a simple pill that would make the cancer go into, uh, well, it'd make the symptoms disappear. I still have it, but it's not growing. It's not doing anything. All the symptoms are gone and I can live a normal life. Since then, we've moved to Virginia. Uh, all of my kids, except for Jordan, are now out of the house, living their own lives. Two of them are married. I have grandchildren. Life's pretty good. And now I'm embarking on a adventure with a new job. I'll be writing for uh, history scapes. It will be history and I'll be able to tell history in a story format. Some people want to evangelize for God. I want to tell his story and his story involves the human story. We're his creation. So I love history. I want to tell history in story format and that's what I'm going to do. Thank you.